Colby Sieberdine. And harassed by Hammonds. And now Balcom. What the dunk on the other side. Big time play by Josh Balcom with the tip. Run yeah. away in the dunk. Now Grandview staying patient. If the pace has not favored them yet. But right there, Bacham, that's twice. He's just exploded by his guy. Off the drive. Balcom through the lane. Lost it. But then is able to regather it in a big follow through. Well, he has been so big here today. They've just been a little bit loose with the basketball. Balcom, Euro step, and the finish right hand. 11 5, Grandview Christian. Balcom driving through the center. And this lead, Jeff, for Grandview Christian. Yeah, neither one of these teams doing a real good job at the free throw line so far. Two of six. What a king. Balcom. Nice attack off the dribble, and the Thunder mounting the fouls here on Bellevue. Well, he's gone from four three-pointers on the year now to six. 18% on the year coming in. State tournament could do funny things to you. Yeah, he's been hit hard all day, and he just averaged 83 points a game. Balcom, count the bucket as Balcom was able to float it in while being fouled. Well, they just have so many different weapons. Average is 19 a game. Big three-point play for Balcom. Here's that full-court pressure. Balcom catches the inbounds. Still four Comets right there forcing Balcom's hand. He gets it across the timeline, driving through. They tried to trap in the half court, and Balcom was just too wise for it. Timeout called by Grandview Christian. We don't really worry about what the outside says or thinks about us. We just battle every game. We're a family, a group of brothers. So They stay together. They trust each other, and that's what's kind of the heart of this team is the chemistry and the bond they have together, trusting and playing unselfishly. Let's check out, first of all, the impact players who we think may have a big role in this game tonight. Mike? Yeah, well, for Grandview Christian, it's, it's Josh Bacham. He had 14 points in that quarterfinal game, leads them in scoring. Quarterfinal game was just a drudge match, Mike. Low scoring affair, and we're looks like we're maybe in store for the same here, but there's a nice two by Bacham. Can Grandview be patient against this zone? Bacham on the drive, some contact, and Bacham is going to the line. Another free throw here coming up for Bacham. 71% on the year, and he knocks it down. Five to four. Blake Mills with the one point lead and the basketball. Loose ball, and it's still loose, picked up by Tobaloba. And contact, and nearly a steal, but going out of bounds is Bacham. There's a three for Grandview Christian. That's the way to start Bacham from downtown. Well, how about Noah John also getting the start for, like, Mills fans wanted a foul there, but I think that was a good no call. Baseline, good. More. Hammonds. Bacham, and Bacham's fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line. Grandview Christian 12 to 2, but it's a little deceiving. Wyatt Helming has been really effective from outside, and that's where he's been getting all. There is a Grandview Christian coach, Dave Stubbs, now in year number 14 at the helm of the Thunder. Seven point lead, and Lake Mills having trouble getting it over the timeline to Hammonds. Hammonds had a nice little run at one point. Here's a three, top of the key, nailed by Bacham. Well, he was close on that last one. And he said, well, I'll do it again. You're gonna give me this much room. As we take a look at the deep three. Now, they lob it in though, they get a good look, and Tomalova blocks it. <laughs> wow. Ended on the board. Hammonds from downtown. Look out. Look out. 
Here comes your number one seed. Scramble for the ball. And coming up with it is Seth Hermanson. Well, Hammonds has been really hot. He's got 11 so far. That one a little short. Blocked. Great play by Noah John that time. Just taking it away. Bauckham has the ball in his hands. He has 11 in the game. On the drive, and the little runner goes. Well, so Lake Mills has had to switch up. They're in a man-to-man, -man, and that really favors Josh Bauckham. He's so quick off of that dribble, and that time getting all the way to the paint. Scoop shot, good, Bauckham. This is where Coach Mankey didn't want to be, having to play man-to-man -man against Grandview, and that leads to that. Good job by Helming. Now the Bulldogs on top by one, under three to go. And another drive by Bauckham. He is finding a hole in that defense. How well does he control his body too with the finger roll? He's got great hops, able to avoid the charge. 17 points in the game for Bauckham. Helming now with four fouls. And there's no time to sit no, in this no, situation. Absolutely. Championship Network. That one's good. So it's a three-point lead for Grandview Christian. Lake Mills back to the zone with the lead here. Bauckham. Boy, that kid somehow finds an opening every single time. That's against the zone, Rick. That's unbelievable. Great fadeaway. He's got 21. Keep in mind, Wyatt Helming with four, Daniel Tobolobu with four, and Josh Bauckham with three as far as your foul problems. Bauckham skips. Runner goes! Well, and Helming couldn't challenge. You, you certainly don't want to pick up a foul there, so good decision by Bauckham. Bauckham with 23 in the game. The tip, again, won by Tobolobu. Here we are, double overtime. All right, Lake Mills going to stay in that zone. Bauckham against two defenders, and I don't know how that one went in. Incredible. And how about Helming not picking up the foul there? Just a great shot by Bauckham. 25 for Bauckham. The, the go-long football play. Yeah. Lake, Lake Mills didn't know how to cover that, <laughs> no. Rick. That was... Well, they got it to Bauckham. They got it to one of their best free throw shooters. I was looking over at the bench when uh, Tobaloba hit that. When they were trying to foul Tobaloba right. and Hammonds with the drive, how big a shot that was. Uh, we just trust each other throughout the whole game and play hard every minute that we can. So it's amazing. There's nothing like it. I've never experienced anything like it. Unbelievable environment, unbelievable fans. And Lake Mills was a great team. They had a lot of good guys kind guys and they had a great season a 6-1 senior number two Josh Baca stolen away and the pass to Bauckham and Bauckham scores uh, North Lynn turned already something they're going to emphasize here as they try to keep uh, this league going. Okay, that's Molly Nelson in the three ball the other way by Josh Bauckham, and that you can see why he's keeping him in the game and risking all those fouls. <laughs> Let's see if they get it right back to Tobel over here. Any kind of points for Bauckham would be huge for his confidence. A deep three, and how about that one by Bauckham? Just like that, Grandview just claws back into this game. From Grandview Christian, Josh Bauckham. There you see the all-tournament team and your all-tournament Team captain Tate Hoggenberry and what a tournament he had and he had the duty of matching up with Tobaloba and it was a battle and you know this is again one of those games you, you hate to see anybody lose it was tight but the foul trouble just too much to overcome.